What's going on everybody, David here. Today we're gonna to talk Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you a tip here. And it frustrated me for, for a little bit because I was trying to figure out what was going on. But let me show you what, what happens here. So I have this in my little uh, trim tool area. And if you click on it, you see what you want. You can go ahead and trim here, move it forward, trim there. So now I have what I want. I'm gonna drag it down into the timeline. So when I drag it down on the timeline, you see it just gives me a video track and doesn't give me an audio track and so then when I play it back there's no audio but when I'm up here play the same track Sony would really take care of the customers there's an audio track so what's going on why is it doing this and so for for a couple of hours, I was trying to figure out why it was why it wasn't uh, giving me the audio track, and it's very simple. All you need to do, right down here, this A1, just click on the A1. Now, if I drag that same track in, guess what? I have the video and the audio track. And what happened? What happened in my situation is I accidentally clicked that, and then when it did the auto save, and then when I left out of Premiere Pro and came back into Premiere Pro, it was set up that way. So all the tracks that I was trying to drag into the timeline were just giving me the video and not the audio. So that's it. Quick and simple. All you need to do is to click the A1 and you're, you're set. You'll have your audio tracks. Please, uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you later. Bye.